my grandmother handed it down to me when she passed away a few years ago at mm. the age of 102. Goodness gracious me. So, well, now look at that. She left all this look at that. For, for me as because well. Because here we have a veritable cabinet of curiosities. It's uh, an extraordinary collection of Georgian and Victorian jewellery. Oh. Let's have a look at this one first because this does catch my eye. And this is a Georgian gold belcher link chain. And typically it's got a hand clasp terminating at the bottom. On the finger of the clasp is this little gem set ring. It's a beautiful little piece. Um, there's another gold chain made out of spun gold. I mean, considering it was probably made in about 1825, 1830, you can see the technique, the sophistication that that would have been made. Um, then there's some really delightful mourning rings. Now, the thing about mourning rings is, of course, when, um, when someone died, um, it was customary to commemorate the person by mounting a small lock of hair in a locket centre, surrounding it quite frequently with half pearls. Being mourning, the colour was black, always going to be black. And then at the back of the ring, we might find a small sort of engraving of the person's name, the date that they passed on. And then also you might find a tiny little locket compartment where there would be a small lock of hair. Do you wear them at all? I have actually worn this little one. Um, Sean and I got married in Winchester Guildhall last year in a dressed up medieval costume and I did actually wear that. And that, that was the actual that, ring that you wore? I did wear that one, yeah. Let's just have a look at that one then because it's quite a simple ring really. It's a late Victorian gold ring with a sapphire in the middle surrounded by a sort of um, posy of half pearls. So I assume then that apart from knowing it's come down the family you've never actually had it valued before? No. Well, I think on the basis that a Georgian gold muff chain like this is a little shorter than the very long ones that you get, that by itself is probably worth something around £1,000. Oh, God. Um, this fine mesh tubular chain necklace, that's probably worth around about £600 to £800. Pounds. Um, the rings, you've got the half hoop ring there, lovely diamonds, five graduated stones, that's worth about £800 to £1,000. Pounds. The morning rings are worth between three and four hundred pounds each. So, from what looks like a fairly sort of um, straight Sheffield plate set, which is worth uh, maybe no more than around about three hundred pounds, you've got a lower tier drawer, which is probably worth eight thousand pounds. God! <laughs> oh, I didn't realise that at all. It really is a unique collection. Goodness me.